All right, Lady Ada, what's uh, this? This is a blinking LED. No, it's a blinking TFT. This is a round 2.1 inch TFT. And I just have it turning on all the pixels white and off. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm actually trying to debug this, which is trying to get the large 4 inch screen working with the ICN6211. And it's not working. And I don't know what's up. And I think it has to do with the screen initialization, which happens over SPI. But the problem is I've got Raspberry Pi, kernel, device tree overlay, ICN configuration, SPI configuration, AT time. There's too many variables. So what I do is I'm actually testing this out first on a known working platform because I'm always like start with a known working thing, change one little tweak to you know figure out what's going on, and then um, adjust and adapt until you figure out exactly what your root cause is. And I actually don't have the ESP generating any TFT signal. What I'm just doing is the SPI configuration. And if you look over here on the, oops, the data sheet, sorry, all pixels on, there you go. Um, there is this mode called all pixels on, which will turn on all the pixels for you. And you don't have to have TFT signal. It just does it directly from um, the SPI commands. And so over here, what I've got is a little bit of code that sends the init sequence, init sequence, but then it appends to the init sequence the command to turn all the pixels on and off. And so now that I know that that init sequence is good, I'm going to move that code over to the AT Tiny over here. And that'll let me know whether I've got the SPI init code and wiring working. And then I can work backwards, fix the ICN, fix the device tree overlay, and basically get it all working with a Raspberry Pi.